From the bottom of my heart, I shall answer your question. As a descendant of the Inca civilization from South America. And because I would like you all to understand that in my person, there are nearly 480. Uh, thousand indigenous peoples around the world. There's no region around the world that has no original peoples with their own languages, their own cultures. And if we are speaking about diversities, well, we have to bear in mind those diversities as well. I would like to express my gratitude for having been brought on board to be a member of the committee, which has managed to resonate with the voices and aspirations of all in transforming education of those voices that hitherto have been absent. How many girls, how many little boys out of the 480 million have had access to education and have felt that they've been treated with dignity when they enter the classroom? That's what we want to change. That is what we want to see in this transformation of education. We want the curricula to include the local college uh, cultures, uh, knowledge bases of these different diversities, not just cultural ones, but all types of diversities that are still uh, cons cons seen as part of the emerging sector. Another important thing for us is the training of teachers. The Commission is fully aware that we have to take a fresh look at how we train teachers. And we can't just see teachers as people that get the lowest salaries, the le least consideration. The pandemic has shown that teachers, especially in rural areas, did not have access to internet. They didn't have the resources that they needed to, to continue to uh, get to be able to use those tools. These are two things that go hand in glove, curricula, methodologies, inclusion, and educational quality. And in this connection, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished eminent figures in this room, when you think about educational systems in our countries, you know, those of you who have decision-making power over the public purse, we have to establish priorities. Education should be seen as something that enhances our dignity. Education should lead to a sense of universal citizenship based on human rights from the bottom up, that we all have opportunities to make it to a ministry and to become a minister, and that no one be left behind. These are the voices that have been heard within the work of the Commission, and we remain very hopeful that on this historic occasion we will actually manage to fill in the gaps and break down the barriers of exclusion. This is a very clear voice, a clear message that says the times have changed. We're entering a new global context that requires this transformation in order to Again, break down the barriers of exclusion, which are often based on things such as racism and discrimination. Thank you very much.